Okay, so now we're gonna move to the last command that we have under the data manipulation section, and that is the delete command. So in order to delete rows from our tables, we could use the delete, and let's have the following tasks. The task says, wait a minute, all the new users since yesterday or since today, they were wrong inserted in our systems and we have to delete them. So we have the customer Anna, the customer Max, they should be deleted from our database, from our tables. So in order to do that, it's pretty simple. We're gonna use the command delete. All right, so in order to solve that, we're gonna write very easy commands and as well, it is very dangerous. So we're gonna start by writing the keyword delete from, and then comes the table name. So we need to delete from customers. As you can see, it's only three words. It's very easy, but if I execute this, be careful with that. It's gonna delete everything inside the table customers. So I'm not specifying anything. I'm saying delete from customers. And if I run it, the database is gonna delete all our customers from the database. So be careful with that. Always specify what do you want to delete exactly. So with that, it's like the updates. We're gonna use the where commands and use the primary key, the customer ID. So we want to delete the customer ID number, let me check again, number six and seven. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use the in operator in six, seven. So any customer IDs in six and seven gonna be deleted. So this is my filter condition. And if I run this, both of the users gonna be deleted. So let's check that. If I run this over here, you can see both of the customers are deleted. And with that, we have deleted some records from our customers. But be really careful what you are specifying in the delete. So you don't delete all your records. You might be during the like the development of your tables. You are inserting data like test data and you want to delete all of them. So if you want to make a table an empty, you could go and say, OK, delete from table name and you're going to make the table empty and then insert again a test data but if you are like deleting only few records be careful what you are writing in the where condition so you don't lose all your data one more thing here to talk about about deleting rows is that you might be in situation sometimes you have very big table and the mission is over here is to delete everything to delete all the rows from this big table so if you are using the delete from commands, it might take long time because what SQL is doing is going to go like for each bunch of data deleted, then go to the next one. So it's going to do it like an iterative manner and it may take really long time. So instead of using delete, if you are sure that's OK, I want to make a table empty. I want to delete everything from the table. I just want to have the columns and nothing inside it. So instead of using delete, there is best practices to use another SQL command to delete the rows. And that is truncate keyword and customers. As you can see, it's only two, two words to destroy everything. So it's very like short command truncate customers you are telling the sql okay delete everything i don't want to see any records inside my table so the database is going to do it really fast so if i'm going to run this query over here so i'm just going to remove the delete from we are deleting everything in the table customers so if i do select star from customers the table is going to be empty so if you have done that and you want to have the test data again, just go to the tutorial database and rerun the whole script. Then you will have exactly the same situation before you are deleting the data from customers. All right, everyone. So that's all for this chapter. We have learned how to modify our data inside SQL tables. And now we're going to jump to the last chapter where we're going to learn how to define our data using SQL. And first, we will learn how to create a SQL table. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.